Did you know that 10,000 infants get diagnosed with cerebral palsy each year? What happens to those babies when they grow up to be junior high students? Meet Ruslan Gibson, a sixth grader at United Junior High. Ruslan was born with cerebral palsy. He had a surgery a few months ago that's called a selective dorsal rhizotomy. A selective dorsal rhizotomy is when they cut nerves that lead to too much muscle tone. I spoke with Ruslan's mom to hear more about his journey. Ruslan has several different medical diagnoses. The first one is cerebral palsy. Then he also has something called situs inversus, which means his internal organs are flipped on the opposite side of where they normally are in the human body. And the last one is dextrocardia, and that means that his heart is on the right side of his body instead of the left. I met with someone who's known Ruslan his entire life. His brother, Pasha. I always feel like, gosh, my brother is still here and I love him and he will always be my brother. I love him. I also met with Ruslan's good friend, James Kiefer. First thought when you found out Ruslan was having surgery? Uh, I was hoping that he would be okay and was, would be able to get through it fine. What was your favorite memory of Ruslan? Uh, when he got tickets to the Cardinals game and he threw the first pitch and he brought me with. Uh, they were pretty excited. Uh, they gave me a lot of uh, cards uh, to feel better. So I had to be a dirt and walker. And, yeah, so they were pretty excited. What did they say? Uh, they said that they missed me and uh, that they're happy to see me back at school. And um, they were just super happy. What would you like others to know about how you act with somebody who's uh, always treat them right, and um, people with disabilities, you should always treat them right and don't bully them, because everyone has problems, and you should really treat them well. What advice would you give young kids? Um, I will probably tell them to never give up, and uh, you always have hope. And um, you just have to take it. You just have to take it one step at a time, and you just got real for it. Thank you for listening to Wrestling's Journey. Do you know how hard it is to be a teacher? Have you ever wondered who the best teacher at our school is? Well, the teachers have to put up with all of our craziness, so I thought we could give them a little recognition. There are many things that hold our school together and truly make us united, but what really makes our days awesome is our teachers. So as a treat to the teachers, I interviewed some students to see who they was truly one of the best. I don't think I'd be a teacher because I wouldn't have the patience with kids. Miss Cole because, well, like at first I didn't really like like spelling and stuff, but now I think it's okay because of Miss Cole. Okay, thank you. Um, my favorite teacher would probably be Miss Wynn because she she's really good with everything and she knows how to handle stuff well. Miss Cole because she's really funny and she's really nice and uh, <laughs> I don't know, I just really love Miss Cole. <laughs> 
Thanks for being awesome teachers. This is Rachel Leary signing off. Later United. Hello, I'm Caden Murray from United Junior High. I'm excited to give you this story about Aiden Fox working at the new restaurant, The Pump House, Pub and Grub. Today we'll be asking questions for Aiden to tell us what's about the restaurant and what he does there. At the um, I saw a sense of responsibility and uh, I could get the things that I actually wanted um, instead of having someone else buy them for me like um, my mom or my dad and it was probably something, it was, well not probably, but it was something to do in my free time. Um, I worked in the kitchen and um, I made um, appetizers and wings and stuff like that and I got stuff from the freezer for them and I did dishes sometimes. The fire sticks, definitely, those are really good. And it was actually, it was, it was really high, I liked it. Um, I walked into the uh, restaurant and I yelled, show me the money. That's, that's what I yelled. Oh yeah, for sure, yeah, uh, like Arby's. Yeah, for sure. And like, will you use them later in life? Probably, yeah. I mean, everyone would. I mean, everyone has to cook at some point in their lives. Unless you become rich, then you don't. Yeah, definitely, for sure, I like working. Uh, it's you know it's just, it's like it's something fun to do for your free time and you can just you can get paid that's cool yeah. We asked one of the customers of what their favorite food was and here was their answer. My favorite thing is the hamburger and their fries because they're really good. Mm -hmm.